Right. I came to the terminal. I wrote MPX NA10. Why am I using this way and not the desktop? Because like this, it's uh, what I'm doing. It's uh, the same for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I come to my browser, localhost.2.5678. You should not see this because these are all my previous workflows. So forget about this. And um, let's see a quick overview or of where are all the settings. Here in workflows is where we will have all the bots. Bots, workflows, automations, programs, uh, workers. We can, I will use indistinctively all those names, but normally, normally I will attach to the definition of workflows because if they use that name, why to use a different one, right? Uh, here in templates, it's where you can use um, templates that are built by um, by other people. Okay, like you can very possibly, very possibly, whichever workflow you need already exists. Possibly, because look at this: 623 workflows that they're connecting different nodes. We will see. Don't worry, what are nodes? So it's very possible that whatever you do, you want to do already, somebody <laughs> had the same problem. And did something before so take, but we will look, look at this later on and um, in the section of credentials it's where we will create all the credentials needed to connect with the external nodes for example to connect with youtube with uh, openai for chat gpt uh, with google docs google sheets google drive with gmail uh, microsoft excel microsoft docs amazon web, web services all of those credentials here you create them once and you store them okay um the process is a bit it's um i don't know if you've used other tools like for example um zapier you know zapier i don't know how you pronounce it in english zapier or zapier and zapier is a bit better in the the process of credentials creation it's much it's more comfortable like there are two three steps that you can you don't need to do but of course in Zapier you have to pay <laughs> and NADEN it's free so uh, we'll stick to NADEN because uh, it's not the end of the world to make two or three st steps once because the credentials you create them once okay only once so you go through all the all the headache of making the credentials you make two or three more steps but the credential it's there and you can reuse it all the time so it's something that you have to do only once great and uh, here in executions, it's where we will see all the workflows. When you leave them working, you see here all the executions, all the tasks that these workflows have done. And if they were successful, they failed, when, okay, how much time it took to, to do it, the execution ID, and um, all of that. In settings, we have some, uh, some uh, well, first of all, we have the version here and uh, some uh, I, I, things that are too advanced for this moment the only thing that we need is uh, here in personal you have your basic your personal settings and in users like the user that you have created that we created previously this is different user because it's the um, the other one i was doing it for the first time but here you should see the gym the email that you used in the video before and um this is and then the if you want to change the the passwords yeah here in personal if you want to change the password this is the section okay and here you change the password um now this is all happening in our computer so um it's not really relevant because you will oh, when when we, you, you launch this you will always be auto logged in but when we do the the deployment in a server and several people uses the the same and then it's when the the management of users makes more is more important but for now we'll leave this to the end and maybe i don't even cover it but uh because we i will focus only on the workflows creation more i mean this course is going to be more about that but um we will leave it because this is now not relevant just know that it is it is uh, possible to create more users and allow access block access but Okay, forget about this now. Not important. And um, that's it. This is where I help. Uh, here's where you are linked to the documentation, some videos, the forum. They have a forum here. Okay, this is the community NADN forum. 
I have posted two or three times and yes, they reply, they reply to you. Um, I think the team of NADEN, it's a, it's a team of 30 people. I think I heard it once. Not all of them are developers, 10, 12 are developers. And um, you might ask yourself, okay, and how do it, how do they make money? I mean, how if this is because I guess you don't want to stick yourself to a tool that perhaps disappears. Imagine that in two, three years, this company, because this is a private company, imagine that the company is not going well and they disappear and you have done all your bots and suddenly your bots or so all your workflows and then they're not you can use it but it's not maintained not updated with the new node versions you know what you know what i'm talking about um so you might ask yourself okay if i'm not paying <laughs> who is paying for this well some when a company wants to use this integrate the canvas into their software solution they have to pay and they have to pay a big a big uh, sum and also they do a lot of consulting so yeah they're, they're getting revenue I don't know the numbers, but um, it's a company that makes money. So in theory, in theory, you should be kind of um, it's not a free project that people is maintaining it out of their kind heart. No, no, there is money behind. There are workers, professionals getting paid. It's being maintained. So in, I, I'm not going to put my hand over the fire for them. But um, yes, I trust. I think that this is going to be a project that will live a very long time with us.